The elite class is no joke. This class is amazing. I love Keijo. The book is back, everyone. The book is back. Cue the music. Alright, in today's episode, Keijo, the battle for the fastest butt, wow, what an episode. I just thought it was going to be an episode about Miyata versus Rin Rin, and don't get me wrong, I was hyped for that too, but it carry on more than that. We saw more of the elite class go against our girls. The Miyata versus Rin Rin fight, oh my god, the battle of butt gatlings, everyone, the battle of butt gatlings. See, they both are equal when it comes to speed, but one thing that... Rin Rin had better than Miyata was that she has a longer lung capacity and it showed her sucking on two bottles, which was kind of weird. Miyata's a smart girl, she's not dumb. She even faked herself losing balance when she was going against Rin Rin, tricking her within the process. And then another thing that shows just how good Miyata is, because don't get me wrong, at first I actually thought she was going to lose this battle. She developed a new move called W Acceleration. When she tightens her outfit, it basically it reduces the pressure and it heightens her speed, which makes her way faster. And I'm just saying, at one point, it seems when they're moving, it sounds like that sound where you basically get a comb and you just do this move it up and down. It's just a certain sound. And not only that, when they're doing the butt gallons, it actually sounds like guns going on. Like, da 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 da. Did the W acceleration. She was so fast. It was ridiculous. Like, you couldn't even keep track of her, which just made no sense. She had this, even this green aura around her. And she wasn't even the only person that stepped her game up in this show. And after Miyata won the fight against Rin Rin, she did suffer some, some minorish, minorish damage from it. All it really was is that like basically her outfit was right up her ass, and basically Ioba just had to stretch it out, which was complete fan service. I you you can't even say it wasn't. It just was the moaning, the shape of her ass, the thrusting of it. I'm surprised to see Toyo Gucci fight. She didn't have to do anything. The girl didn't really have to do anything. She went against this girl. I'm assuming her name was Nemu. I'm not sure. And this girl had a move called the Ass of Vajra. I didn't know the name of what that meant. I took the liberty of looking it up. If Vajra means a mystical weapon, which the girl technically pretty much hinted. And she said, this girl was a muscle person. And what she did was tighten her ass muscles, which looked actually pretty disturbing. And whenever you hit her ass muscle, it would reflect or deflect you away. And then not only that, she could use it as a spear, which she did on these two other muscle bound girls and she beat them easily. But when she tried to go against Toyogushi, she, her butt was just too soft. She couldn't really handle Toyogushi and she couldn't really damage her butt, which means it was just too soft and it just knocked her away. Which, Plum Gucci was born, ladies and gentlemen. And the last fight to carry on, to end off everything, was Ioba. And now, after Toyogushi won her fight, which surprised me, honestly, completely, but I'm glad she did, and it makes complete sense how she did it, Ioba was fighting, and I actually just thought she was going to win this one as well. I was hoping not, because you're going against Kusaki, the elite number one. If you beat her, then I, what does that mean? And then when she went against her, Ioba, she has, Ioba has her own move called Hand Scanny, which I'm telling you, it was actually surprised me. And it makes sense because I was wondering why, if you remember my last video, I said that she was feeling on girls' asses when she was getting massages and it showed like that she actually get something from it and her hands were glowing. Basically, after every girl that she, who actually felt when she was giving a massage, she basically learned a lot about them, their habits, their moves, like what they do. She got to know a lot about them, and a lot of girls are surprised by that. And she was able to handle Kusaki at one point, when she, cause she's basically a tactician, really, and when she was instructing the girls to attack her. But Kusaki, she showed why she's number one. And another move, I tell you, this episode is just an episode of crazy ass moves. My god. Kusaki had a move called Titty Hypnosis. Titty hypnosis, she swayed her breasts back and forth, back and forth. I basically was hypno hypnotized myself. That just, that's all it did. It put him in a trance, and all she had to do was tap him with her ass, and then they fall into the water. Damn. Yeah, that's the lead number one for you. The episode ends off with another new girl that's another girl known as Fujisaki, who basically, I mean, we don't know what she do. We saw her in the opening where it looked like she had a dog on her ass, mainly what well, I'm assuming is a Sebra, just from the name of the next episode. And she had her headphones on, so who knows what type of person she is. But the episode ended with her chasing 
knows of me or beat on me more like it. I'm telling you, it is crazy. I I just can't help giving these girls nicknames and what an episode. Like watch it. I highly recommend this episode. One of the best episodes of KJO so far. We got Beetle Mean, who is going against a new competitor, who we're gonna see in the next episode. Ioba revealing her hand scanning ability. Miata kicking ass with her ass, butt gallon for days, W acceleration for days, and a birth of Plum Gucci. I'm telling you guys, great episode. This is A1. Oh man. I love asses. You love asses. Asses are a lot. I'm Restart Geek. I'm signing out. Like if you dare, subscribe if you care. I'm like a star. I'm burning out fast. I try to shine. But it's never gonna last.